Is that ready? Do you want to go fishing? You seem confused. Okay guys, exciting news number one. I got a new camera. Uh, this camera has been in the talks. This is, this is more my inner nerd coming out, but this is the Sony A7S, A7S III. Uh, I'm gonna talk lots about this camera yet. Um, for today, this is just gonna be my first day using it fishing. I just picked it up yesterday. There's lots to talk about. Well, the specs are incredible, but having a flip out screen, I have a flip out screen on my bigger cameras, but for vlogging now to have a small screen that I can look at all the time and make sure I'm framed properly. The autofocus on this, on this camera is just absolutely phenomenal from what I've seen. Anyways, uh, part two, we are making our own lures today. First, we need to gather some material and uh, tie up some hair jigs. Here's contestant number one, Judy the cat. Judy, is there anything you want to say? Do you want to tell the viewers at home about Judy's neck hair problem? Judy's neck hairs grow out too long, and then when she tries to groom herself, she chokes on them. So every once in a while, we give Judy's neck hairs a little trim. Keep looking at me. <laughs> well, that's a good chunk. Will that be enough? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is Rudy's box, in case you're wondering whose box it was. This is where Rudy spends most of his nights. Rudy has just too much hair in general. He's got some crazy foot hairs. And every once in a while we like to trim him up. Gray. Rudy, it'll grow back, it's fine. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. We gotta go. We got a busy morning ahead of us. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome to the shop where we make lures. This is my little lure making cave here. As you may have guessed, we're tying up a hair jig today and I know this isn't a new concept. I know people have done it with their dogs. I know people have done it with roadkill. I know people have done it with their own hair. Just want to do something different. Judy and Rudy needed a trim anyway. So uh, I'm going to find some jigs. I like using tungsten jigs for crappies. It's denser than lead. It's just easy to get a small jig down deep right where you want it. So here's my jig box. I think this pink and white might be good for Judy's hair, the, the white stuff. And for Rudy, I think we're gonna go black with the little orange dots. And that I think will be the Rudy jig. All right, if you guys want to tie jigs, it's very handy, helpful to have. This is called a vise. It's what people use for tying flies. Yeah, basically you clip the hook in there and then you need some thread. I've got some black thread for the one and some white thread for the Judy jig and this little device right here. It's called a bobbin and this is what holds it and then it's got a little ceramic tip is how you do the winding right there. So, enough talking. All right, the jig is locked in. We're starting with black thread. I like to use uh, Kevlar type thread. It just holds a little bit better but first thing you wanna do typically is grab your thread and kind of just tie a bit of a base on. There's not really any lip for this hair to grab. So so right there, that's, that's like, way too big of a jig. I mean, if I was smallmouth fishing, open water, that'd be pretty good, but I want to uh, I want to make that even less. Okay, so watch this, I'm gonna do a wrap or two. And now it's still loose, I haven't cranked it down yet. Then I'm gonna try to spread it, spread it around the shank of the hook. That's exactly how I do a, a hair jig for crappies, or, or a, sorry, a hair jig for smallmouth. We're just gonna trim a little bit this so we can work with this a little bit better. Now, now we're gonna winch it down and get some pressure on it. I am not a master jig tire by any means. We're gonna get real technical now. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try to spin it like dubbing, and you can make fun of me because I'm not a fly tire. Dubbing is when you like spin it onto your line, and then you wrap that line around the fly, and it like creates a body. So that's what we're gonna try. Oh, that looks good. Okay, this actually turned out better than I thought. All right, now we're doing the final move, the whip finish. You're basically just creating a knot with your hands and sliding over the top of the jig. It's kind of what seals the deal. I'm gonna do it a couple times. All right, there you have it. The Rudy bug. All right, jig number two. We're pulling out the white. Like, look how pure white that is. So what I'm doing right now is just ripping the ends just to make it a little bit thicker at the base of it. See what I'm doing there? Just ripping it. So then when I tie it on, it's gonna be as bushy as possible. All right, we're gonna do one wrap, one very soft wrap, and then we're gonna kind of spread it around the shank so it doesn't all stack exactly the same. 
We'll trim that, we'll see how it looks once I pull it out. I think that one, ah, it's okay. Water will really, you know, show how it looks. This one's a little more micro. This one I think will be, you know, if we need to finesse the fish, it might be a little bit better. So there we have our two options. The Rudy one is definitely a little bit bigger and bulkier, but uh, yeah. Welcome back, made it to the lake. Uh, it's just, the weather's been absolutely ridiculous, so warm. So it's get cold this weekend, but I've been still limited to walking out. But check this, like these chicks look pretty good, guys. Look at this. You're dealing with Judy on the top, Rudy on the bottom. And they look pretty good. I'm curious how they're gonna look in the water, but uh, I rigged up the toboggan a little different today. I actually have a tripod strapped down to the toboggan. I'm gonna keep my live scope in the toboggan. And then all I have to do is drill, keep the rope around me, and I got a mobile filming live scope station. So that's, that's how I'm gonna be able to do it by myself today. With Judy, we have a thousand size sustain on the Pantastic. This is the 29 Ultralight. This has five pound fluorocarbon line, uh, four pound main braid. Then the other rod, we got uh, nine pound line braid, a little bit on the heavier side with, I think it's eight pound fluoro with the Rudy jig. And this rod is the dipstick with a thousand size Stratix. This one's a 39 light. I'm gonna try to give both cats an equal kick at it. Uh, we're gonna drill a hole, get the live scope dialed in and Crappies can, can be clumped up in one spot or they can be moving around. And I, I've now realized that crappies uh, are definitely spooked by the auger, spooked by footsteps. We'll see what happens. And yes, I'm gonna fish out of the same hole that I drill. Hopefully gonna catch a couple for dinner. That's kind of the goal. And give a couple, the little, little niblet for Judy and Rudy for their sacrifice. Okay, there's fish. There's a pot of crappies. There's three, I would say. See them right there? Three of them 65 feet in this direction. So I'm gonna drill and try to pull this whole operation with me. Those could be crappies just off the edge here. Okay, we gotta start off with the OG, with Judy. She's been our, our day one, our first adoption. I don't know if you guys remember the video where I shot my first deer. Well, we'll just insert a clip, I guess. Girlie, <laughs> we've, deci <laughs> we've decided to adopt you. Come here. Hey. I'm here. You're with us now. <laughs> That's incredible. See how that hair looks in the water? Ooh, it looks good. We're gonna be dropping like right on a fish here, guys. First drop of the morning. Can Judy get it done or are we gonna have to get Rudy in on the program? Oh wow, there's a few fish here. Are we rolling? Is everything good? Oh man, this is happening so fast. This is, got it. Judy, oh my goodness, and it feels like a good one. First drop, guys. Second hole we drilled. Oh, and I think it's a big one. No, no, no. Oh man, that was a big fish. Oh, that hurts. Okay, there's more down there. We might get another chance at that one. Oh, that was a big crappie, guys. Oh, ho, 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 man. All right, guys, looks like there's a couple more fish out this way. 45 feet. Those look like crappies. Ooh, that might be a fish cruising in on me there. Let me zoom in quick. Hey, look on the right. Yes, come on. Close the gap. Seal the deal. He's gonna come close, and I'm gonna start lifting the rod just a little bit to get him to chase. Just a bit. Got him. That took a bit of work. I don't think it's big like the last one we lost, but we caught a crappie using Judy's hair. I think that's pretty cool. All right, that's a little too small to eat. Hey, one for Judy, zero for Rudy. But we haven't used Rudy yet, so we may have to pull it out pretty soon. Ooh, look at those 14 feet away. That's a bunch of big mamas and they're coming in fast. Holy smokes, guys. Look at those. That's what we've been waiting for. I'm sorry about the glare. Can't really do too much about it right now. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is a school of big ones. I don't even know what to do. Like a part of me wants to get the other rod ready or drill another hole or... Look at this school, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna try to just peel them off the top because otherwise I'm gonna spook all these. Look at them, look at them coming. Got him. Oh, and it's a good one. Guys, oh, the whole school just, oh, the whole school just took off. Oh man, that's all right. Hey, we got one. We need to focus on landing this. Please, 
Oh, that's a, oh my goodness. Judy, the Judy jig. Okay, bad shade. I'm gonna just turn the camera here a little bit. Look at that. I think that's my biggest, I mean, that's definitely my biggest crappie this season. I don't know, pretty 15 inches, maybe bigger. I'm not sure. Look at that on the Judy jig. Unbelievable, so much fun. You know, I just wanted to catch a couple of fish. I wasn't planning to necessarily catch a big one, but I will take it. Yes, 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 yes. We're gonna drop right on their heads. That is insane. Oh, right there. That is live scope at its finest. There we go. Wow, I had to wait a while for that fish. I think the camera might have died, but we got our first one on the Rudy jig, like a, I don't know, 12, 12 and a half inch, perfect eating size. We were on him. We were on him. The more I use live scope for crappies and, and just ice fishing in general and, and drill and search, I'm getting more comfortable with my distances and just kind of ballparking, you know, how many feet when I pop a hole. Look at this fish streaking up. Oh, it's tangled. Okay, he's gonna eat. Come on, come on. Yes. Oh, baby. On the white jig. Ooh, another nice one. Oh, this is fun. I think it's easy to get caught up in gear sometimes. At the end of the day, location, location, location. Being on top of these fish is the most important part. Tackle is secondary. It's important, a nice tackle helps you catch fish, but if you're not on them, it doesn't matter what you're using, and you put a nice small offering in front of a slab's face and you tease him a bit, he's probably gonna come eat it. There's a couple more down there. There's the school, 10 feet. 10 feet behind us. Is the fish gonna swim over though? All right, they're moving that way, 12 feet. Oh, these fish are kind of swimming towards. Gotta give Rudy another crack at it. And that's the thing, I'm, I'm drilling a pretty small area here and just bouncing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And these fish are just, they're cycling around as well. Putting the jig right in front of their face. This looks like a, a big fish. All right, just very subtle movements. So far I'm not getting the reaction I want. There's like three fish there, so hopefully one of them. Look at that middle fish. He's charged up, charged up. Got him, got him. Wow, that was just so cool to watch everything happen there. The fish scatter, the three fish kind of come up and then the one charge out of the middle and this fish is really fighting. Oh man, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Pie plates on the hand tied jigs. How sweet is this? That one is too big, that one's going back. I think we got another one down there still. Okay, we're switching back to, to the white. I can't even see my jig right now. We have some technical difficulties here. All I know is there's a fish charging for me. Okay, now I can see it. He's right on it. He's following it up. I haven't felt a bite yet. Did I get him? Oh, this one's a little smaller. Might be a nice eater. We got more fish down there. Okay, maybe it's not small. It's actually pulling drag. Ah, oh, that was fun. We had to work for him. It wasn't a gimme, that's for sure, but okay, we got things dialed. There's so many fish chasing me right now. Wow. Oh man. If you'd have told me a week ago that I was gonna be trimming my cat's hair and catching slab crappies with it, probably would have said you're crazy. Look at that pod. Video game, video game fishing. Like we're dropping right on top of the three. So I'm gonna try to keep it above. I don't wanna like get right into that mess and, and spook them all. If I can hold it above, sometimes those bigger, more dominant fish will be a little more likely to charge up. And then I feel like maybe I'm not spooking the fish as quick. <laughs> this is good. Not the panastic, the pantastic. There's been a few of us that have gotten that name wrong. Pan Pantastic? Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Such a nice little rod for this. 
And we're on the eaters right now. Okay, there's just too many fish here to ignore. Eight feet this way. Oh, there, there's my jig. There's a crappie swimming up to it. Oh boy, oh boy. He's all over it. Sometimes they'll just lift it up and then sometimes you'll get that dunk down like that. Great head shakes. Beautiful little Northwest Ontario crappie. On the tungsten, just barely hooked. I know you might want to be greedy if you're fishing with other people, but when you get on a pod, you want to catch them as quick as possible because they can disappear as fast as they show up. Like two of my best crappie memories have been schools that came up, dropped down, it lit up like a Christmas tree, and then it was just done as soon as it happened. So I will say, share the wealth when it comes into your hole because it might not last long. Okay, we're on them. We are directly on them. I'm gonna pull the knot back so the jig sits nicely. I gotta be honest, we're not giving Rudy really a fair, fair try. It's just a mess right now. I can see my jig coming down and I think there's a fish coming up for it. What the? I had a fish on the whole time. Oh my goodness, what was going on there? I think I just, he must have eaten on the fall and I couldn't see my lure. Just watch, this is gonna be the biggest one of the day. Nope, not the biggest. That fish was so aggressive. Another one, that was embarrassing and awesome at the same time. Well guys, that was an incredible morning. Two little jigs, both caught fish and who would have guessed some of the best crappie fishing of the year and my biggest this season on the Judy jig. Um, we're gonna talk to Judy about dropping her own line of jigs coming later this year, but uh, we're gonna get back home. Thank you guys for watching and uh, we will see you guys very, very soon. Since you both contributed to this catch, you will both be rewarded with some boneless crappie nibbles. Judy, Rudy, 